our unit. I'm gonna go pick it up. It's a brisk morning, man. 90 degrees. <laughs> I don't think it's brisk, but uh, gonna go pick it up. We got some more repairs that need to be done, and we're gonna let you follow through on all of the repairs and what exactly is going on with these repairs. And why do we have to have these little things? And it's you know some of these are necessary because of how things move. Let's go ahead and, and uh, get this thing attached real quick. I can do. I. I I already oiled all this right here. Um, of course, the back one. Back here. Uh, I don't, like I said, I don't see much to Dometics. I, I need to go back up here. There's a couple of things I gotta do up there. But uh, let's go ahead and hook this thing, get it back home, and I'll go inside and do a walkthrough. So, some of the repairs have to be completed as you can see right here this laminate right there is coming off so it bubbled you can see it right here so let's see how they fix that okay they say they may have to replace this whole thing which means the whole wall <laughs> nice another place is some of the other areas is right here. This laminate is coming off this strip, and they say they can usually heat these things up, put some more uh, cement in there, contact cement, and then it'll take care of that. Of course, the infamous fix. What is that? That is what goes down here. Those things break all the time. If you have the warranty, get it fixed. Because uh, I don't think I got charged the last couple of times. So we have to get that done. I all these down and cleaned them all up. And there's four of these right here. Let me get some lights in here. Um, yeah, I, just, I didn't see anything else. Everything else is fine. These units are very well... Uh, they're easy to take care of if you just do the maintenance on it and uh Let's go back on the outside so We have This stuff right here There's a couple of them on the top and the bottom but Mine as you can see is coming apart right here So that all has to be fixed and so they gotta tear this whole thing. Do you see right here where it's coming apart right there? So that's one of the repairs they have to do is they gotta tear this whole thing out. And I have my solar batteries in here. That all has to do. The inside, the bathroom. And let's take a, take a walk around here. Oh, there wasn't anything in the bathroom. Okay, Mark. Yes, sir. We're on our way. Not Again, right. to go where? Repairs. <laughs> Again, we have to go get some repairs. No, no, it's okay because it's under warranty and we're just doing the maintenance. Well, we don't want to let it go and then have it not be under warranty and have to pay out of pocket. So, it's all good. I, I understand that, but... Here we are again. It's what 50 miles, 100 miles turnaround. Oh, no. I mean, gas is not cheap. Well, it's cheaper than it was the last time we took this trip to Chandler, so no, it's all good. Getting all the stuff done so that we can concentrate on doodle dogs and get back to our yummy hot dogs. Yummy hot dogs, <laughs> okay. <laughs>
getting everything repaired again. So, Margaret, what do you think about this? It's all good. It's all good? Oh, here, you. We got to open this thing up and get inside there. So, we are Airstream. What you do is you come in here and you um, just drive up in here. It's nice right now because it's nice and cool over here, but a lot of repairs that have to be for those warranties get done. And even if you don't have a warranty, you still have to have uh, this looked at many times. So it's time to pick up, uh, go and pick up the, uh, the trailer. And uh, kind of a long drive, but let's see how the good day did. We'll go ahead and, and uh, show it to you to see exactly what, uh, what they did. Apparently they, they did a lot, so let's check it out. I am simply curious to see what they did. Well, we, uh, we got here to Airstream and we were shown all the repairs and I, I got to tell you, man, these, these guys, they, uh, they did a really good job. And um, I think that some of the things that we saw, you want to look for, was it ever there? Did it ever really even happen? That's what we're seeing. We're seeing the repairs that look like they just never happened. And, some of the things that they do, they've been doing it for many, many, many years, and they know how to take care of these issues. Like I said earlier, you really want to get all these things done with the warranty intact, and you want to go somewhere as reputable. It bubbled. Now, you can see it right here. So let's see how they fix that, okay? Do you remember the bubble that we had right here, which is totally gone? I mean, it was all right here i think some of the I'll, I'll show you how they repaired i mean look at this it looks like nothing was even there that was totally repaired they had done some repairs over here where we had a separation over here all this was separating actually it did separate they went ahead and took care of all that so all of this is back to normal now some of this stuff just loose loosens up because you're on the road. Um, looks like they made that repair and got that taken care of. Now, another. What is that? That is what goes down here. Those things break all the time. So let's let's take a look at this door. That's one of the things that they repaired also. So let's take a look here. One of the things was how it was. Just take a look at this. Oh, isn't that nice? Wow. And down here, it's all been put back together. 
Here's, here's what I'm looking at right here. As you can see, I'm at the best. There you go. And it's just, it was adjusted. I guess there's some adjusters right here that adjust. And they have the tools to do that. I, I couldn't do it myself, but what a difference in opening and closing. That's how they're supposed to be done right there. So that was great. So let's go check the other thing. Was this down here needed to be replaced because it was just everywhere. Look how nice and tight that is as I as I as I shake this thing. Look at this. I mean, it's nothing. So that that was replaced, and that's how you want it to sound when you close. This right here. This laminate. It's coming off this trip and they say they can usually heat these things up put some more on to sound when you close these things so that's all good let's go outside and look at the other repair that they did here and I wanted to show you what they were really happy with was we call this the from nolocksolutions at gmail.com. Some of you guys get what they call spongy stare. And spongy stare seems to, to just have an issue with you feel like the stairs are gonna come down. Well, when you put this on here, look how I'm stepping on it. It's as strong as can be. And there's nothing like feeling secure when you're going up a stair. So that was a great little purchase. Let's go over here. Oh, and by the way, we want to thank the No Locks uh, people who sold us this because it has really, and, and Wander Loco, who was showing this online, we want to thank them too because without them, we wouldn't have this solid feeling stare. So we're going to come over here. As you can see, it's coming apart right here. So that all has to be fixed. And look at the repair that they did out here. This was all separating and it separate. It did separate right here. So you saw the old videos, which are side by side here. So you can tell how the repair was done. And that was done extremely well. So these are repairs that need to be done. And this is why you walk around and you look at things. And when you see, um, what has to be done you want to get it in there if that warranty's not up man i mean i had this done this was under warranty they replaced this right here i mean i could have done it myself but hey it's under warranty <laughs> go for it so we're gonna come walk around here everything looks good i'm always checking things out to make sure that there's nothing that needs to be done i'm always cautious because when it comes to a unit that is well worth what's, <laughs> what we paid for it, you always want to look at the next person who has the unit. And we're, we're now, I like the way she looks. She's all happy and, and let's just get her back home and let her rest. And you know, just a little suggestion. I'm gonna go back in and show this to you. If you live in an area which is kind of not humid or not a lot of moisture gets into the unit, you definitely want to put buckets. We put buckets and we'll have one right here. We'll have one right there and we'll have one over there. Now we put the buckets, they're just little half size buckets. And what we're doing is we're assuring that um, there's water in those buckets that we create the moisture we create the moisture because we're trying to uh, keep it from cracking in the unit. Sometimes these units, they crack and uh, you have to take care of that with preventive maintenance. And that's one of them, believe it or not, putting water inside to keep it moist in there. Cause they, these things, they, they're pretty air dry. They're pretty tight and they will dry the inside out. So all in all, what they did was, was very good. We, we give them a, an A plus. 
okay, we'll give them a straight A. How's that? They, they did really well. And thank you to the crew of We Are Airstream in Chandler, Arizona, and good job, guys.